Hello everybody, welcome again. It's myself Megan and my partner James. Hello, hello, hello. And today we are going to be showing you how to create your very own space rockets at home. <gasps> can we go to the moon, Megan? We can try, we can Excellent. try. So Excellent. all you need for this is some water and some of these very cool steridant tablets. So you can get these at Tesco or other supermarkets. You can also get other brands. And these tablets are used, did you know, to clean false teeth. Mm. I know, smell them, they're disgusting. They smell horrible, they do. yeah. So what you do is if you have fake teeth, at the end of the day, you take them out, put them into a glass with some water, and they clean by fizzing, and you can harness the bubbles to do some really cool science. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to harness the bubbles in order to launch our rockets. Because what is at the bottom of a rocket, James? Fire. Are we allowed to use fire? No. So we're going to use bubbles Not since instead. the accident. Not, Not since, since the, the accident. accident. We're going to use bubbles instead. So what we're going to do is we're going to teach you how to make one of these out of the sterdent tube itself. Mm. So if you buy the tube and take all the tablets out, you can use three or four tablets, crumble them up, put them back inside, fill it a third with water, mm. give it a good shake for science, and then this will become your rocket. That'll be pretty vigorous. Yes. Pretty vigorous. Now, I like it. Now, it's a good idea to get an adult's help for this one because they can go pretty high, and it's also a good idea to do this outside mm. because they can make a nice hole mm. in the ceiling of your kitchen. You should so, also probably wear old clothes because yes. this stuff can bleach. Covers you, it's yeah. disgusting. Not ideal. Now, are you ready to see a rocket launch? So we do this. Let's I'm thinking James and I will have a little bit of a race agree, for our yeah. rockets. And we're gonna launch them in that direction mm. instead of straight up. Because we have mm. a lovely ceiling here at the Science Centre that we don't want to destroy. Mm. Okay, so here we go then. We've got our rocket bodies and we're gonna find some rocket fuel. Here's some sterling tablets. If we break them up, James, and put them inside our rockets. There we go. So again, three or four tablets should do the trick. There we go. And when we add the water, it's gonna fizz and create lovely bubbles of carbon dioxide. It's a nice gas, isn't it? There you are, sir. Okay. Excellent. My rocket is fueled up, James. How's yours looking? We're getting there. We're getting there. Excellent. Ground team's almost ready. Almost ready to launch. Okay. Good, good, good. The next ingredient. Do you remember what it was, James? Water. It's water. Excellent. So here yes. we go. We're going to take some just lovely tap water here. We're going to add it into our rockets. There we go. Oh. Are you ready? Is that enough? Oh yeah, that I can see do. it fizzing. Here we go. We're going to pop the lids on. That's very important because this is how rockets work. We pop the lids on and if we make sure that the bubbles pop the lid down the way, our rocket's going to go up. So we try and have a little spirit, James. Mm -hmm. I want you to push down as hard as you can on count of three. Okay. You ready? One, two, three, push down. Boom. We went up the mm -hmm. way. So here we go. We're going to pop our rockets in. And what does every good rocket launch need, James? A countdown. Okay, so on the count of ten. Ten. Let's do ready? ten. 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 Nine. Nine. Oh my goodness. Very naughty, James. No, mine was very successful. I think I won that race. You did. You definitely won the race. But the longer these rockets take to launch, the higher they tend to go, mm. or the further our case. Mm. Come on, rocket. Do you know any magic science words, James? Mm. What about some some space words, astronaut words? Astronaut words. Armstrong. Armstrong. Aldrin. Buzz. Tim Peake. Yay! Yay! Very Tim good. Peake. Excellent. Excellent. That was amazing. Those launched really, really far. Wonderful. So yeah, because of the distance and how kind of aggressive they were, mm -hmm. it is probably an outdoor activity, but a really, really fun one as well. And you don't actually have to use sterdent tablets, any kind of sort of fizzing tablet, vitamin C tablets, things like that. They work as well. Um, one thing that I have seen people do is use old film canisters as well. Now, we don't have a lot of them lying about now, but if you do happen to have some in your house, they work well as little mini rockets too. They do indeed. Mm -hmm. And you guys can decorate your rockets, you can put glitter on them, you can put fins, mm -hmm. maybe try a pointed top. Mm -hmm. But whatever you do, don't write your names on them, because if they launch into your neighbour's garden, you might never find them again and they'll know exactly who mm -hmm. it was. Mm -hmm. There you go. Enjoy making your rockets at home, everyone. 